a new documentary sheds light on China's history of population control. I never thought much about what the policy meant for me or anyone until I learned that I was going to be a mom. One Child Nation is a new documentary produced by Amazon Studios, which follows one woman's journey in uncovering the history of China's one child policy and its impact on generations. China's one child policy prohibited most couples from having more than one child and was often brutally enforced by the communist government. In 2015, China announced it would relax the policy, permitting most couples to have two children. One Child's Nation was recently released in select theaters to a lot of fanfare, even winning the Grand Jury Prize at this year's Sundance Film Festival. Stephen Mosier, president of the Population Research Institute, is a prominent expert on China's population control and Catholic speaker. He wrote in part this about the film. While nothing in the documentary surprised me, it has apparently stunned many progressives. In fact, to judge from the buzz about the film, many on the left seem to be genuinely astonished by the sheer evil of China's policy and talk about it as if they were becoming aware of it for the first time. And joining us now in studio is Stephen Mosier himself, the president of the Population Research Institute. Stephen, welcome to the show. Good to be here. This documentary is creating a lot of buzz about China's one-child policy. You were in China in 1980 when this policy was first implemented. Remind our viewers what it entailed. What it entailed was arresting women who were in some cases five, seven, nine months pregnant, telling them their babies were illegal and then taking them to local clinics where they were given poison shots into the uterus to kill their unborn child. And then, to make matters worse, the women who were seven, eight, nine months along were given cesarean sections to remove the now dead and dying babies. I was in the operating room when these injections were being given, when the cesarean section abortion was being done. It was a horrifying experience for me, and of course, even more drastic and horrifying for the women. What was your take on this new documentary, One Child's Nation? Did it accurately depict China's one child policy and the brutality included? It's a, it's a good documentary. People ought to watch it if they want to understand mm -hmm. how the one child policy has affected women and mm -hmm. families in China. But from my point of view, it's too little and too late. Mm -hmm. It's too late because the policy started in 1980. It ended a couple of years ago, but there are still abuses in China. So where were they for the past, oh, 40 years in reporting on this? The left was nowhere. Yet you've been speaking out boldly about this since 1980, since the start. And since China has relaxed this policy to be the so-called two-child policy, but what do you think are some of the misconceptions now that that's been put into place? Well, two things, basically. One is that although we now have a two-child policy, it is still illegal for women who are unmarried to get pregnant and have children. So if the state finds out that, that you're about to be a single mom, they will arrest you still and they will forcibly abort you because single mothers are not permitted in China today. That's why there are places in China that house single mothers that hide them from the authorities. The other thing, the other misconception is, yeah, it's a two-child policy now. You're free to have two children, but not really because the state is now pressuring people to have a minimum of two children so you can see the trajectory. We've gone from forcing people to stop at one child to encouraging them to have two, and now saying you've got to have two. Party members have been told they must have two, they must lead by example. And what we see, I think, coming is forced pregnancy. That is devastating. And finally, Stephen, can you speak to the ongoing ramifications of the one child policy? It will affect generations. Generations will see their family tree with all the branches shorn away, right? The second generation of only children have no cousins, no aunts, no uncles. The typical family in China now has four grandparents, two parents and, and one child. And it's a, it's a, it's a misguided uh, policy that was put in place by Communist Party officials who had no idea what they were doing culturally, socially, or economically. Mm -hmm. They've killed off 400 million babies in China. That's 400 million of the most productive, enterprising, hardworking people the planet has ever seen. They've killed off half of two generations. Have they made themselves better off? Mm -hmm. No. They have now an aging population. China's population may now be peaking and shrinking. 
China may be entering a long-term demographic economic recession brought on by what? By killing off 400 million of the ultimate resource. The one resource you can't do without, that is human beings. Thank you so much for speaking boldly on this issue. Stephen Moser, President of the Population Research Institute, thank you. Thank you.